Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Up, and today I'll be showing you some of the new features on Mac OS X Snow Leopard, which I just installed about 10 minutes ago. So let me just show you to prove that I am on 10.6. Right there, you see Mac OS 10.6. And um, first of all, the first time we're going to be going over is something that you can do in the dock, which is Expose, which is now available in your dock. So say I want to open up Firefox, which I have right down here. Um, let me open up YouTube. I don't want to open up that. So um, I can have YouTube open up. And let me just say I want to open a new window. Uh, okay. So uh, I only have 293 swag bucks so that I just got something. So um, now let me just minimize both of these and see what you can do. So see down here where it's, you have Firefox. You can just click and hold down. And it will show. You can let go as well. And it will show the two windows or however many you um, tend to have open. And then you have options down here as well. Keep in dock, open at login, and show and find. You can also quit and hide these as well. So that's a new feature they added. Also, when you press in on the um, when you press in on the side of your um, mouse, if you have a mighty mouse, you press in on that. You can use expose like that as well, and it shows up differently like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And you can also zoom with the space bar. So say uh, you want to go to this one, just press that, and you just press the um, uh, space bar and it won't you can't actually click on anything see this you can't click on anything but look you can just go up and down between each one so if, say you were working on a task and you had to keep looking back at something you just keep going back and forth and just hit space bar and it'll go right back to where you were also you can easily drag and drop um, things between windows so say you want to drag something from here and to here you can just easily do that if you had something um, like that going so that's one of the things is expose also, this came with the new Safari, if you had to have it down here. So let me just go ahead and open that up. Uh, Safari right there. And I'll just open up my main thing. I guess just bbzapodtouchup.com. Oh, it's the forum. Okay. So it did come with Safari. If you say it goes about Safari, it will show you're on 4.0.3, which is the newest there is right now. So that came with this installation. So next is that you have uh, QuickTime 10. You have it came with a uh, QuickTime 10. Which is right here. It has a new logo. You see that right down there? QuickTime player, like that. So let me just open it's just opening up right now. So it is QuickTime Player 10. You see you go right here and then it shows 10.0. So QuickTime Player 10.0, of course, with the Quick time, you know, you could record audio or video, trim, and uh, upload it to you know YouTube, uh, Mobile Me, iTunes, whatever you want. So uh, that's that's a pretty cool um, thing that came with QuickTime 10 because a lot of people have been looking forward to that. I know. So um, what else is new? Um, I think. Oh yeah, you can. Um, you know the stacks. If you have stacks on your Mac, you can um, actually scroll through your stacks. Um, I know how some of you guys had to. You know, if you had stacks down here you'd have to have that big thing that goes up, that big tower. Now they're actually scrollable um, to go through your scrollable stacks. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, icon view. You can you can thumb through a multi-page document, you know, um, and you can watch the movie actually from there. You can actually preview it. So um, say you want to find some music in iTunes. Actually, I can't spotlight. It's spotlighting right now. So um, if, if I want to find some music or something, if you just go to the Macintosh HD um, and search, you know, .mp3 or something like that, you can actually um, click on that, and um, it'll actually preview for it. Um, if you have, you have to have it in the view like this, so like that. So it's in this view right here. Let me maximize that. So see how it's like right there. Oops. And then you can actually, if you hold it you'll actually be able to press play right here. So from there, see? Here we go, and it actually plays it from right there. So that's pretty cool. You can go through each song and do that. Um, I don't know, so you go down here, and just right here, you can just click on it. It may take a while for it. has to load up all the album artwork. We see right there, it shows play. I don't want to get caught for copyright, so I'm just going to play a little bit of the song. I know a lot of you probably know the song. Yeah, 
yeah, it's a good song. Keep the Heat did a video on that. Pretty cool. Go check that out. So um, I didn't want to play the whole thing because I didn't want to get caught for copyright. So um, I think that's pretty much it that I have for you guys. Um, there are some updates to you know the PDFs. You can change some things in the PDF. The printer drives. Um, they updated some of that stuff. And also Microsoft Exchange. Um, they have out of the box support for Microsoft Exchange. Easy setup and all that stuff. So that's pretty much it for Snow Leopard, guys. Um, if you haven't seen the cover, it's a really cool cover, actually. I really like it. Um, Snow Leopard, just in case you haven't seen it. I'll show you a picture. Uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be real Snow Leopards. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's just what it looks like right here. This is the package that came in, just like that. So, really cool, guys. That is Snow Leopard Mac OS 10 10.6. Really cool. That was just a few of the features. I will have more videos on this. Um, I think I'll have a review coming up as well. So um, just look out for the review, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.